लॉजिकल रीजनिंग क्वेश्चन नंबर वन दर इज अ सर्टेन रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन फिगर वन एंड टू एस्टाब्लिज अ सिमिलर रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन फिगर थ्री एंड फोर बाय सेलेक्टिंग अ सूटेबल फिगर फ्रॉम द ऑप्शन दैट वुड रीप्लेस इन फिगर फोर लेट अस फाइंड आउट द रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन द फिगर वन एंड टू हियर इन फर्स्ट फिगर द सी इज रीप्लेस्ड बाय हेच इन द सेकेंड फिगर ओके वॉट इज द रिलेशन बिटवीन दीज टू अल्फाबेट्स फिफ्थ लेटर फ्रॉम सी इज एच ओके ओके द सेम रूल वी हैव टू फॉलो फॉर द नेक्स्ट फिगर आल्सो व्हाट इज द फिफ्थ लेटर फ्रॉम यम दैट इज आर फिफ्थ लेटर फ्रॉम यम दैट इज एन ओ पी क्यू आर सो फिफ्थ लेटर फ्रॉम एम एस आर देन वील फाइंड आउट द रेस्ट ऑफ द रिलेशनशिप इन द फिगर वन एंड टू ऑन लेफ्ट साइड सिंबल्स both are replaced with each other in figure 2 as well the right side of the symbol in the first figure again it is replaced with each other in second figure on right side okay the same rule we have to follow the left side symbol should be replaced with each other right that is it should come like this again on right side both the symbol should replace with each other that is dollar and this is a copyright symbol so the required figure is like this m is replaced by r and the symbols are at dot and dollar copyright option c is the correct answer Question number two: Select the correct mirror image of the given figure. Okay, this is the given figure. The mirror is placed here, right? The mirror is placed on the right hand side of the image. If the mirror is placed on the right hand side of the image, the top and bottom of the image remains unchanged, but the left and right, right, the left and right side of the image will be interchanged with each other, like this. So the correct option is A. the mirror image of the given figure is option a question number 3 mahis swimming classes starts from 15th october and last till 30th october if every sunday is a holiday then for how many days will she go for swimming classes okay this class starts at 15th october and ends at 30th october okay how many days in between 15th to 30th totally 16 days are there right okay out of 16 there are two days are leave on sunday so rest of the day is 14 that is 16 minus 2 so 14 days she will go for swimming classes this is one way of finding the answer another way is we can just simply count the number of days like this in calendar this two sundays are holiday right now we'll count 1 2 3 Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Option B is the correct answer. Question number four: If all the numbers are removed from the given arrangement, then how many elements are left in the series? Let's start remove the numbers first. Two, one, nine, eight, seven, and six. Then will remaining elements will count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. So the total elements, totally eighteen elements are left in the series after removing all the numbers. Option D is the correct answer. Question number five: Find the missing number. This is the given series. we need to find the missing part for this we have to get the rule followed by the given series right let's check the relationship between the first and the second number 495 and 470 495 minus 470 will get 25 and 470 minus 35 will get 35 and the difference between the 435 and 390 it is 45 Then three ninety 
minus 335 will get 55. So the rule followed by the given series is difference between difference between the consecutive numbers of the given series is 35 sorry 25 35 45 55 obviously the next difference would be 65 so now we will subtract 65 from 335 so that we will get the next number of the series so we will get 270 so the missing part is 270 next we will cross check with the next number also we have to find the difference also what is the difference between the 270 and 195 we have to find out the 270 the difference between the 270 and 195 is 75 so finally option a is the correct answer science question number six which of the following statement is incorrect options are we should use both sides of a paper for writing yes by deforestation we can keep the air around us clean no radioactive waste dumped into the soil causes soil pollution yes that statement is true one should throw garbage in the dustbin it's true so which one of the statement is incorrect option b by deforestation, we can keep the air around us as clean as it's totally wrong statement. So, option B is the correct answer for this question. Question number 7. Does system helps in producing young ones? Options are reproductive, circulatory, reciprocatory and nervous. Option A. Reproductive system helps in producing young ones. Question number 8. Which of the following graphs? shows the boiling of water what is boiling point of water it is 100 degree celsius here all the four graph shows 100 degree celsius only but we need to find which one shows the boiling of water at what temperature the water starts boil it is 100 degree celsius okay option c is the correct answer why because the water starts boil at 100 degree celsius and the temperature remains constant here constants during boiling of water even though we supply the heat constantly because all the heat energy provided is used up in changing the state of water from changing the state of water from liquid to gaseous water vapor liquid to gaseous water vapor so option C only shows the boiling of water. Question number 9. You need to measure temperature is option A Fahrenheit. heat. Question number 10. Who was the first woman of Indian origin to go into the space? Options are Sunita Williams, Kalpana Chawla, Anna Mani, Radha Balakrishna. Option B. Kalpana Chalva. Question number 11. Refer to the given word chop table. Which of the following combination of boxes gives the names of modes of water transport? This is the word chop table. Let us find the names of modes of water transport here. First box. It's train, T-R-A and 11th box. When we combine both the boxes, we will get a train. It's a rail transport. The next, 5th and 10th. It is a rickshaw. It is a land transport. The next come, 2 and 12. It is a bicycle. It's a land transport. Next, sub, submarine. It's a, it's a type of water transport. Okay, so, 6 and 4. Next, aeroplane, it's air transport. Then remaining is SHIP, ship. SHIP is a mode of water transport. So, 7 and 4 and, sorry, 6 and 4 and 7 and 8. Option C is the correct answer. Question number 12. Guinea classified some food items into three groups as shown in the table. 
which of the following food items has she classified incorrectly three columns are given energy giving food body building food and protective food so let's check out the options kiwi kiwi is energy giving food no it is a protective food so it is wrong potato is a rich in carbohydrate carbohydrate it is a energy giving food and butter is a fatty fatty food it also give energy so it is correct then coming to body building food body building food rich in proteins so egg meat both are correct but papaya it's a protective food so it is wrong then coming to protective food it's full of nutrition and vitamins right so goa right it has rich in vitamins and cabbage it has minerals and vitamins and grapes minerals and vitamins so these goa cabbage and grapes all are protective food only so kiwi and papaya is incorrectly option d is the correct answer question number 13 identify x in the given one diagram so this is the given diagram two circles are given one is representing the method of cooking and another one representing a method of preservation here the two circles are inter interrelated each other at this point at x so we need to find what is x is meant to right the x represent the process of canning okay what is canning this is a process of preserving the cooked food right preserving the cooked food by sealing in cans or jars is called canning so option a is the correct answer question number 14 read the statements given by four children and select the incorrect ones swati sheep camel and rat are the animals that chew their cud sonia mosquito has a long sticky tongue to take its food jyoti dogs and cats use their tongue to lap up milk kanika giraffe has a long tail that helps it to pull leaves from trees swati sheep and camel chew their food but rant won't do like this right so the swati statement is incorrect one then sonia mosquito has a long sticky tongue no her statement also wrong then jyoti dogs and cats use their tongue to lap up milk yes it is true giraffe has a long tail no giraffe has a long neck that helps to pull leaves from tree so this statement is also wrong hence swati sonia and kanika the statement given by them all are incorrect option a is the correct answer question number 15 in which of the following places is the type of house shown in the picture located the type of house name is igloo okay where it will be located igloo the type of house will be located where the temperature is too low option d is the correct answer question number 16 gauri pad plants on the basis of type of roots they possess as shown in the box select the option that pair plants in the same manner as done by gauri okay this is the pad plants which is done by gauri on the basis of type of roots okay what is the type of root of hibiscus it is a tap root system then what type of root for rice grain it is fibrous root okay the same pair we have to find out from the given option option a bean is to mustard mustard is a tap root but bean is a fibrous root so option a is wrong then coming to option b radis is to onion yes radis is a tap root system and onion is a fibrous root system hence option b is the correct answer question number 17 unscramble the letters given in the box to find out the name of occupation x So this is the given unscrambled letters. We have to find the meaningful word from this. The meaningful word is its hemist. The meaningful word which is formed here is hemist. Now select the correct option regarding it. One should go to X if one needs to buy bananas. No. 
one should go to x if one needs to buy clothes no one should go to chemist if one needs to buy medicines option c is the correct answer raja was speeding his car on a road suddenly he saw a road sign and slow down his speed which road sign did he see option a this sign shows men at work option b is no parking then option c is low lying aircraft over the road low lying aircraft over the road right then this sign shows it's a hospital hospital sign so on which sign he saw he slowed down his speed it's option a men at work so option a is the correct answer question number 19 people wear different clothes depending upon the climate and cultural tradition of the place they live in the traditional dress of maharashtra consists of option a dhoti kurta and nawari saadi question number 20 which of the following birds has sizzle shaped beak options are goose sunbird hawk and hoopi option d hoopi is the correct answer the bird hoopi has sizzle shaped beak question number 21 match column 1 with column 2 and select the correct option column 1 shows the type of vitamins and column 2 shows the deficiency disease we'll check the option 1 by 1 vitamin a the deficiency of vitamin a causes night blindness so p k then deficiency of vitamin b causes beri beri so q the column 2 is l then vitamin c the deficiency of vitamin c causes scurvy the last one is so for r it is i vitamin d the the deficiency of vitamin d causes its rickets so yes is in column 1 yeah so p k q l r i s e m option b is the correct answer number 22 a torch light was placed at a point x and the length of the shadow of a chalk on the screen was measured to be 8 cm the experiment was repeated with the chalk shifted to a point y as indicated in the given diagram what will most likely be the length of the shadow formed this time here they asked only most likely be the length that is approximate length of the shadow only we have to find okay how can we able to find the length of the shadow so it fully depends upon the the length of the shadow it fully depends upon the distance between the source of the light and the object right okay so by observing the given figure the distance between the source of the light and the object now got increased right now got increased the distance between the source of the light and the object got increased so the size of the shadow will size of the shadow will decrease size of the shadow will decrease right why it is happening like this because the amount of light falling on the screen will increase so that we will get size of the shadow will decrease okay what what would be the answer here most likely be the length so the original size of the object is it here 8 cm so when we when we increase the distance between the source of the light and the object obviously the size of the shadow will decrease so approximately length of the shadow must be 6 cm so option b is the correct answer question number 23 select the odd one out on the basis of types of simple machines the options are seesaw it's a type of lever and crowbar it's a type of simple machine called lever and scissor it is a type of lever but slide but slide is a inclined plan 
இன்க்ளைன் பிளான் சிம்பிள் மிஷின் ஸோ சீஸா க்ரோபார் சீசர் ஆல் ஆர் ஆல் ஆர் லீவர்ஸ் பட் ஸ்லைட் இஸ் எ இன்க்ளைன் பிளான் சிம்பிள் மிஷின் ஸோ ஆப்ஷன் பி இஸ் த ஆட் ஒன் அவுட் ஹியர் கொஷின் நம்பர் டுவெண்ட்டி ஃபோர் செலக்ட் த ஆப்ஷன் தட் அரேஞ்சஸ் த மேஜர் கேசஸ் இன் ஏர் இன் டிக்ரீசிங் ஆர்டர் ஆஃப் தேர் பர்சன்டேஜ் What is the percentage of nitrogen gas? Nitrogen, it is almost 78 percentage. Then oxygen, it is O2. It is 21 percentage. And carbon dioxide is CO2. It is almost 0.04 percentage. Okay, we need to arrange these gases in, in decreasing order. So first come. nitrogen that is 78 percentage then 21 percentage then 0.04 percentage so this is the decreasing order n nitrogen get greater than oxygen percentage is greater than carbon dioxide so option c is the correct answer question number 25 when rithima slowly poured water over the soil kept in a jar she noticed air bubbles this experiment shows that soil contains water soil contains air soil contains humus and soil is clay option b soil contains air why because on pouring water in the lump of soil okay or dry soil whatever it is air is released in the form of bubbles air is released in the form of bubbles so as always a lump of dry soil contains some trapped air inside so option b is the correct answer question number 26 unscramble the given letters to find out the name of type of teeth that are used for biting and cutting the food first we will unscramble the given letters this is canines and this is premolar option c is molar then option d is incisors so which type of teeth that are used for bit biting and cutting the food option d incisors question number 27 volcano is an opening on the earth surface which releases dash when explodes crust lava mantle and inner core these are the option The correct answer is volcano is an opening on the earth surface which releases lava when explodes. Option B is the correct answer. Question number 28. Refer to the given figure of a plant with the sum of its labeled parts and select the correct option. First we find the name of label parts. Letter P denotes it's a flower. Letter Q it's a flowering bud s denote it's a leaf u denotes root and t denotes it's a stem then r denotes it's a fruit or vegetable anything fruit or vegetable options are we eat part r in cauliflower so okay what is the part r or is a fruit no the eat of edible part of cauliflower is it's a flower only so option a is wrong if you want you can check the second part also part t in cabbage what is the edible part of the cabbage it's a vegetative bud the edible part of cabbage is vegetative bud but here they are giving it as a stem so option a is wrong then coming to the option b we eat part q in clow So what is the edible part of clow it's a flowering bud yes q it's correct then and part r in lady's finger what is the edible part or eatable part in a lady's finger it's a fruit or vegetable so part r is also correct so option b is correct answer if you want you can check other option also for option c we eat part u in onion yes it is correct and part s in broccoli what is s here s is a what is s here it is a leaf but in broccoli we will eat that 
flower pot right broccoli flower pot so the edible part of broccoli is flower so option c is wrong then coming to option d we eat part p in spinach spinach is a green leafy vegetable green leafy but what is the part p here it's a flower so it is wrong and part u in ginger so eatable part of ginger is root it is correct anyway one anyway option d and c is wrong so finally option b question number 29 which of the following graphs is correct four options are given the graph shows the types of medium right different kinds of medium and the and their speed of sound we have to find out okay here the reference key is given p represents solid and q is vacuum r is liquid and s is gas okay what is the what is the speed of sound in solid right so in solid the speed of sound travels about 6000 meter per second in vacuum next is vacuum 0 meter per second that sound travels about 0 meter per second then in liquid it depends upon the liquid but approximately it is 1500 meter per second then gas so we have different types of gas it is approximately about 331 meter per second so the correct graph shows the speed of the sound is option c is correct you can see here solid then liquid the speed of the sound in four different medium solid liquid gas and then vacuum option c is the correct answer question number 30 on which of the following surfaces will the ball run fastest options are sandpaper marble floor woolen cloth jute mat option b is the correct answer marble floor why because the surface of marble floor is smoothest of all right smoothest on comparing other other three so thus minimum friction will be absorbed in marble floor so the ball run fastest option b is the correct answer achieve a section question number 31 refer to the given table and select the option that correctly identifies materials x y and z so this is the table in the table characteristics of three materials are given x y z we need to identify the name of the material so coming to the option a one by one we'll check mirror what is the characteristics of mirror here mirror will allow the light to pass through it yes Milo has a uh, mirror has a fixed shape yes mirror has a fixed volume here also yes yes it is true next material y the name of the material is frosted glass frosted glass allows light to pass through it no frosted glass is a translucent so the light will not pass through it directly but it is given tick so obviously option a is wrong so no need to check the other material z next coming to the option b glass so glass allows light to pass through it yes glass has a fixed shape yes glass has a fixed volume yes it is correct the next material water water why water allows light to pass through it okay it is correct water has a fixed shape it is given wrong yes water is a liquid liquid have no definite shape so it is also correct water has a fixed volume yes liquid has a fixed volume so it is also correct so and then we will go check the other material set air air allows light to pass through it yes it is correct it is given right true air has a fixed shape no so it is also true air has a fixed volume no so it is also true so finally option b is the correct answer if we have doubt we can check the other options option c carbon dioxide it's a gas allow lights to pass through it yes gas has a fixed shape no carbon dioxide has a fixed shape no carbon dioxide has a fixed volume no so here itself will it is everything wrong here two option two characteristics wrong and one is correct so here itself it is not satisfied the characteristics so no need to check the other material so option c is also wrong next to come wooden box wooden box is a solid it allows light to pass through it no but it is given it's true so no need to check the other option directly option d is also wrong so finally option b is the correct answer question number 32 
Krithika observed the following phases of moon on different dates. 18th September. 18th September is a new moon day. Then next 25th September. So it is called as a first quarter. This phase of moon is called first quarter. That is 25th September means almost 8th day from the new moon day. Next is 28th September. 28th September means 11th or 12th day from the new moon day. It is called as gibbous. Right. Which of the following phases of moon would she most likely observe on 5th October and 12th October respectively? Okay. 18th September is a new moon day means then when is the full moon day? That is on 2nd October. Right. On 2nd October it is a full moon day. Okay. The phases of moon on 5th October is what? This is the question is asked. The phase of the moon on 5th October, 5th October is called as, it is a gibbous. It is almost 4th day or 3rd day from the full moon day. That is called gibbous. Okay. Then on 12th October respectively, that is 11th day from the full moon day. That is called crescent. 12th October, the name, the face of the moon is called as crescent. So, which option contains gibbous and the crescent? Now, we will check the option here. Option A is wrong because it has a full moon day. Okay. Then option B, coming to the option B. Option B has a new moon day. So, option B is also wrong. Then coming to option D, we will check. In D also, we have a full moon day. That is, sorry, new moon day we have. So, option D is also wrong. So, we have only one option left with us that is option C. You can see here this is the gibbous which is coming after the full moon day. This, this phase. Then what about this one? This is called crescent. So, this phase of moon will come after the full moon day. So, finally option C is the correct answer. Question number 33. Refer to the given flow chart and select the incorrect option. A flowchart is given under the name of organ of digestive system. Okay, what are all different types of organ in digestive system? Starting with mouth, next esophagus, next stomach, small intestine, large intestine and anus we have. Right, so these are the main six organs of the digestive system. Now we will go into the flowchart. Organ of digestive system, it can be any organ of digestive system. Okay, yes. Next is yes. Then organ where food is mixed with the acid. So, which organ is responsible for where the food is mixed with the acid? We know it is a stomach. Okay. If it is yes means that organ for digestive food is what? That is P. Now, we will check the option here. P is a sac like option. Yes. Stomach look like a sac like organ. So, P must be slack. So this option A is correct only. The next again we have to start from the control from the first. Okay. So again we will start up with the organ of digestive system. It can be any organ. Yes. Organ which is responsible for food where food is mixed with acid. No that organ is not responsible where the food is mixed with acid. Okay. No. Then the organ for digestive and absorbing food. If suppose that organ is responsible for digesting and absorbing food means then what is the name of that organ? So which is the responsible for digesting and absorbing food? It is a small intestine. It is small intestine. Now we will check the option C. Q is the organ where complete digestion of foods takes place. Yes in small, small intestine where the complete digestion takes place. Okay it is correct. Again we will coming to the top of the control that is organ of digestive system that organ is a part of digestive system yes then if the organ is responsible for where the food is mixed with acid means no okay then no means that then then the particular organ is responsible for digesting and absorbing food no then what would be that organ organ for absorbing water from undigested food yes yes means then what is the name of our it is a large intestine right 
in large intestine the main process takes place for absorbing water from the undigested food okay now we'll check the option r that is option b r is the longest part of alimentary canal that is now we find out r is a large intestine because where the undigested absorbing the water from the undigested food is taken place is the a large intestine is the longest part of alimentary canal no small intestine is the longest part of alimentary canal so option b is the wrong answer because they have asked only the incorrect option then we have only one more one more organ we have to find that is the letter yes that also we'll find out again you have to starting from the top of the control that is organ of digestive system so that organ is a part of digestive system yes that organ is responsible for where food is mixed with acid no then particular organ is for digesting and absorbing food no then particular organ is responsible for absorbing water from the undigested food no no means that is the organ yes then what would be the organ yes now we'll check the option here s yes, may be an organ that joins mouth with the stomach so what would be the organ name it is esophagus esophagus okay so finally out of all the option b is the incorrect option so b is the correct answer for this question so in flow chart every time for each and every option you must start from the flow of control from the first question number 34 study the given word grid and select the correct option it is the grid where some of the words are hidden inside the grid that we need to find options are name of only one plant with the floating leaves is hidden in the grid that is a water plant only one plant is hidden in the grid but lotus and water lily two water plants are hidden inside the grid but here it has been said that only one plant is hidden but here two plant is there so option a is wrong then b names of two animals with the spines on their bodies are hidden in the grid one is hedgehog and another one is porcupine so we got the two animal names with the spines on their bodies option c names of four omnivores are hidden in the grid okay what is omnivore an animal that has the ability to eat and survive on both plant and animal ma matter right okay we got only one animal name rat rat is a omnivore but it has been asked that four omnivores name we have to find so we got only one so option c is wrong then option d names of three plants with leaves reduced to spines are hidden in the grid so which plant with the leaves reduced to spine the the plants are called desert plant right okay here we got the answer cactus cactus is a desert plant but it has been said that three plants are hidden inside the grid but we got only one so option d is wrong so at last option b where we got two animal names with the spines on their bodies are one is hedgehog another one is porcupine option b is the right answer question number 35 two location p and q are 10 km apart analyze the situation shown in the figure and select the correct option so this is the given figure and four options are given we need to find the location of p and q whether p is whether p, uh, p is a land or water body or q is land or water body that we have to find out and one more thing we have to find out is on which direction the wind is blow whether from land to water body or water body to land that we have to find out so by analyzing the figure the two location p and q are situated apart by 10 kilometers and the moon is given so the moon represents it is a night time so during night time the wind blows from which side to which side during night time the wind blows from land to sea only that is called a land breeze that is land to water body that wind name is land breeze so the land breeze blows during the night time only from land to sea okay that we have find out now either p or q right either p or q might be a land or water body that we have to find out from the given option option a wind will blow from p to q if p is land and q is a water body yes it is correct only 
option b then we'll check the next option also option b wind will blow from q to p because we don't know either p or q might be a land right so wind will blow from q to p okay it is also correct but the second part if p is land and q is a water body so this is conflict this is second part is conflict of the first part so wind will wind blow from q to p means q must be a land and p must be a water body but the second part is totally conflict with the first part so option b is wrong so finally we are we already got the answer option a is the correct answer